Floyd Mayweather is back in action, and he's tapping into his old ways. We just witnessed Money Mayweather not only go head-to-head -head with Shakur Stevenson in a heated sparring session, but also dominate him like he's in there with an amateur. Floyd is making a statement to Tank Davis. Yep, that's right. There have been rumors that Tank is fighting soon, and his opponent is most likely to be the one and only Floyd Mayweather. There's a lot to discuss with this one. I mean, we gotta hear Shakur's side of the story, too. He went to Floyd's gym to help him train, and instead, he got whooped by Floyd during their spar. This drama is only getting started. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the action. Gervonta Tank Davis is stepping back into the ring following his impressive victory against Frank Martin. Now, Tank may be sitting at the top right now, but something tells me it's not gonna last for long because the guy he's fighting next is no Frank Martin. We're talking about the undefeated legend, Floyd Mayweather. New deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, Whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence? Outside of ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Floyd's got 50 fights and 50 wins. If that's not insane, then I don't know what is. Tank's going to have a lot on his plate to deal with. But someone is always going to make an argument about the fact he's pushing 50 and that he's way past his prime. Well, not anymore. At 47, Floyd just dropped an insane training clip where he's sparring with Shakur Stevenson. Now let's break down this heated spar between Floyd and Shakur. According to sources who were at the gym, Floyd decided to lace up the gloves for a high-stakes sparring session with none other than Shakur Stevenson. Now, for those of you who don't know, Shakur is one of the best young boxers in the game today. He's a two-division world champion, known for his slick defense and high-level boxing IQ. Many people see him as the future of the sport. But here's the thing. Floyd Mayweather isn't just some retired fighter who's out of shape. He's still got that boxing genius flowing through his veins. And even at 47 years old, it looks like he hasn't missed a step. When Floyd and Shakur touched gloves, it was clear from the start that this wasn't going to be your average sparring session. Floyd came to make a statement, and boy, did he ever. Floyd was taunting and bullying Shakur. That's got to be embarrassing for Shakur, because Shakur is in his prime and Floyd is way past his. But this sparring shows otherwise. First up, let's talk about the opening rounds. Floyd came out aggressive, showing off his trademark shoulder roll and head movement. He wasn't just defending, he was actively looking for openings to counterattack. Shakur, known for his lightning-fast combos and agility, tried to keep Floyd on his toes. But here's where it gets interesting. Floyd's defensive game was on another level. Every time Shakur threw a punch, Floyd would slip it effortlessly and fire back with pinpoint counters. Shakur couldn't land a clean shot, and it quickly became clear that Floyd was in total control, making Shakur's attempts look almost childish.
If he can handle a fighter as talented as Shakur Stevenson like this, Tank Davis is in for one hell of a fight. Now, if I were Tank, I'd be in the gym right now because Floyd is looking hungrier than ever. And you know he's coming for Tank's head, especially what Gervonta Davis tweeted about him recently. All right, let's break this down. We've got two huge egos clashing. Floyd Mayweather, the seasoned champ, has always been in control, calling the shots in his own career and Tank's too. But here's the twist. Tank is on the rise and is outgrowing his protege status. In a recent interview, Tank revealed he's landed a deal that's way bigger than anything Floyd ever scored. They call Floyd Money Mayweather, but right now, it's Tank who's stacking the serious cash. And, well, Floyd isn't exactly thrilled about it. Set you off. He was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Oh. He said. Everything. So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you, like, oh, he, like. He, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's no. what I was thinking, because I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different, or what is it to you? No, know, it just. It, Floyd don't never, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And, I, and I'm doing it at a young age, wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's that the, deal, yeah, that's the part that's of it. He, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing <laughs> it. exclusive, that's, that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Tank don't cap, nigga, that's a lot of bread. You'll see, it's okay. gonna come out. It's like the classic student versus master showdown, but with a twist. This time, the student has the power to KO the master, and that's what's hyping up this whole situation. Floyd's legacy is on the line. He's been untouchable, unbeatable, and has never hit the canvas in his whole career. But if Tank takes him out, it changes everything. For Tank, this is the make or break moment. Beating Floyd wouldn't just make him the next big thing, it would solidify him as the new face of boxing, the guy who took down the GOAT. But you gotta ask, why is Floyd Mayweather even thinking about coming out of retirement to fight Gervonta Davis? The guy's already got more money than he could ever spend and doesn't need the fight for any reason. So, what's really behind it? It's straightforward. Floyd is fed up with Tank's constant disrespect. My thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, But over the years, it's constantly going on the Internet, take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful. Constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Floyd is ready, and we all saw it during his spar. So what does this mean for Shakur Stevenson? This sparring session was a harsh reality check. Despite being one of the most talented young fighters in the game, Shakur found himself completely outclassed by Floyd's superior defensive skills and ring IQ. It highlights that even with his speed and agility, he still has a lot to learn when it comes to dealing with a veteran like Floyd. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.